In recent years, Nigerian women have been making significant strides in various professional fields, challenging the outdated notion that a woman's place is solely in the kitchen. However, as they break barriers and expand their horizons, they continue to face numerous challenges rooted in deep-seated social and cultural values. Tonkumo Maika, a mother of three, hockey player and coach, shares her experience. I've been playing hockey right from 1999 to date. Sha, it was not easy when we started this hockey team of 18. Families against me. But yet, I have to try. It was something I loved doing when I started it. The first outing was nothing, nothing come out. But the second one, Edo Tutu, we went gold medal. And that's bring an employment to us. According to a 2019 report by the National Bureau of Statistics, women make up 44.82% of the total labor force in Nigeria. However, their representation in leadership positions remain low. The World Bank reports that only 13.9% of firms in Nigeria have women in top management positions as of 2021. A 2018 study by the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team found that 98% of victims of sexual harassment in the workplace were women. The National Board for Technical Education reports that women constitute only 17% of students enrolled in engineering courses in Nigeria universities. Research by the International Labour Organization indicates that Nigerian women spend an average of 4 hours and 13 minutes per day on unpaid care work, compared to 37 minutes for men and according to the Global Gender Gap Report 2021 by the World Economic Forum, Nigeria ranks 139th out of 156 countries in terms of wage equality for similar work. A significant hurdle that continues to plague women in their careers is the gender pay gap. In Nigeria, women earn 23% less than the male counterparts across various sectors, according to a 2022 report by the World Economic Forum. This disparity is particularly glaring in sports, such as football, where female players receive a fraction of the pay that male players earn for performing the same tax. Globally, this trend is mirrored with women earning an average 77 cents for every dollar earned by men. Ngozi Okoje Wela, the first woman and first African to serve as Director General of World Trade Organization, often credits her family's support for her ability to balance her high profile career with personal life. Sleep late and you wake up very early. And therefore, you must consider your head so important because when where your head stops, so the family affairs stop. Where your head stop, your career, the so-called career also stop. So you must take your head as a paramount thing for you. You must have a plan. You must set priorities. Without that, you will not. It will be. It will be. It will be daunting. To address these issues, career women are advocating for more female-friendly policies in the workplace. The Nigerian government has taken some steps in this direction, such as the National Agenda Policy of 2016 and the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015. However, implementation and enforcement remain inconsistent. As Nigeria strives to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 5 on gender equality, it is clear that more concerted efforts are needed from both the public and private sectors to create an enabling environment for women to thrive in their chosen careers. Precious David Gaga.